Normally trying to animate your logo can be a pretty complex thing using complex programs, but today I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily animate your logo using Canva. All right, so taking a look at animating your logo. So something to be aware of, first of all, is if you've got your logo as a whole image, so like here I've got it as a whole image, we're going to need to pull it apart. So it depends where you created it. If you've got a file somewhere on Canva where you can grab each individual part, you need to go and do that and get all the parts. If you've created it in a different program, like in Figma or Illustrator or you hired someone else, you're going to have to make sure you go back to those source files and basically pull it apart so you've got each letter. That way we can actually use all the different letters and the different elements if you've got some sort of graphic element as well to pull it apart to be able to animate the different parts. So if you have pulled it apart, it can be good to have an image of it as a whole so you can actually see where it needs to be laid out. So what we can do is get our whole one here and we can put the transparency down just so we can see it as a guide. And then we can lock it as well. And that way it just sits there just as a guide. So we can see how your final logo needs to look. So that you make sure in your animation that it actually becomes your final logo and it's not just a big mess. So the first thing we want to do now we've got that template in the background is grab each individual part and basically put it all back together. You want to put your logo back how it should be so you know where everything needs to end up in the end. All right, so we've got our logo all in position now. So now we can start to think about how we want to animate it. So you want to first reduce this down so we don't want it too many seconds this first frame. So we might just put it down to 2.5 to start with. Now we're going to click where it has these three dots and duplicate page. Now the next one we can think about what's the first thing we want to happen. So you could have things move out so they could move out a little bit or you could make things come closer together or you could rotate things slightly. So we could even have a little bit of crazy movement going on. So we could rotate this one slightly and we can make the eye jump up a little bit. So you just want to play around and move things about. So you really need to plan out how you want this animation to look to think about what you want to happen in it. And basically we're thinking about each frame and what's going to happen. So maybe we want that E to curve a little M to move. Maybe it bounces down a bit that comes closer comes in. So now I've got our next frame. So on this next frame we want to unlock that background now and remove it. We don't want that there. We want to hang on to it on the first one so we can keep going back to that and we can remove it at the end. So now we can think about our next frame. So again we want to duplicate and now we want to think what we want to happen next. So maybe we want things to come back out. Then duplicate again. Now, if you wanted to, you can spread it right out. It depends too about how much space you want this animation to take up. If you want it to take up a big whole page, if you want it to stay within a confined area. All right, so we've played with it a few different times here. So now we're going to repeat our original. So we go back to the original again and we're going to drag it right to the end so that it goes back to that original state. So now what we can do is remove that one that we used as a guide on both the start and the end here. So our guide is now gone. Now we're going to click in between these so you see that little arrow there. And we're going to choose match and move. Now you can always adjust the duration and things like that if you want to. Or you can just stick with what it gives you. Now in this last frame where it goes back to normal, if you want to add a little bit of movement without it actually moving around, we can select all these parts. Then we can go back to animate over here. And you can choose other effects too. So we could pulse it, you can wiggle it, rotate, flicker. So you can always add other little bits of animation. And you can also adjust things like the intensity depending on what you want it to look like. So now let's speed it up a little bit. So I think the timing we might, so it's up to you. If you want it to be slower or faster, I might make it quite quick. So maybe 0.2 and apply to all. And as you can see, you've got a fun little animation of your logo. So you can really get creative with it too. change what you create. Maybe you've got things that rotate and then come back in. Maybe you just make tiny things. So not so much of this. Maybe you have like the eye just bouncing up and down or something like that. So you can try all different things to create a simple animation. And then you can use this in different ways too. You can overlay it on different videos. Maybe they're short videos like reels or TikToks or even on longer videos like on YouTube like this.
So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you're gonna give it a go yourself. Let me know in the comments if you give it a try and what results you have. And if you wanna learn more about graphic design, branding, and using Canva, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.